Hey guys, what is up? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called Fractured Space that has been in development for quite some time, but just officially publicly released on Steam on the 22nd. Um, I've seen some Mighty Jingles videos on it, and if you guys... Did I say Mighty Jingles? Yeah, okay, good. All is well. All is good. Uh, on the top right, I got my, the Mighty Jingles as my captain. I'm such a bad boy. Anyway, so I downloaded this game because it's free to play, and I went through the tutorial, and I was like, all right, man, this shit is so, like... And then so I was like, all right, I'll give it a game. I'll give it two. I'll give it two games. The second game, it was over. 14 hours down the drain on the first day that I played this. But what Fractured Space is, is that it's League of Legends with huge mother truck and spaceships. So it's a space MOBA, pretty much. So, if you guys don't like MOBAs, and you won't like this game. However, I really, really love MOBAs. I love the concept of League of Legends. The only downside is that I can't really play League of Legends because I would just get sucked into that game, and I couldn't make any videos on it because no one would watch that on my channel. So, the attempt with Fractured Space is to get my MOBA fix, but you guys might watch it because there's big-ass Mamma Jamma spaceships in there. Maybe. But the main reason why I love and enjoy MOBA so much is that you are able to control your destiny-ish. Now, the ish is there. If you have shitty teammates, you're just going to lose no matter what. But if you have a, like, a decent team and you guys work together, you're able to just control the whole entire game. And it's just it, it's rewarding to be able to put in the effort put in the strategy, and then be rewarded with a win. You don't really get that from many games today. A lot of games take your control of the game and replace it with RNG mechanics. Um, I don't know, to balance the game, maybe make it more frustrating, make it easier for players that aren't as skilled or don't want to invest that much time, you know, whatever. But this game, I haven't noticed that at all. Maybe there's RNG in alphas of the damages you know, of the guns. Maybe that. But you can control the map, which is just really fun. And how you lose is that, you know, the other team outplays you. Fair and square. Fair and square. Well, maybe not fair and square because your team had a lemon on it that went to go do something else when they were supposed to do this. But that's, this is a competitive game. It's a whole, it's a MOBA. You guys know League of Legends. You guys know Dota. Everyone has to do their part to win, and, and, if with, and when one person, god damn it, doesn't do that, the chains break. The chains break. So, it can be frustrating when you get a, a lemon on your team, but it also makes it more challenging, and it trains you better for when you are on a better team. But this is, you know, still my first time in the game, or first times in the game, and I'm still learning as well. So, what the hell is this game? other than a MOBA. How do we play it? Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to explain in the menus, but hopefully I can bring up a diagram before we get into the game. Um, pretty much how it works, it's a 5v5 um, game. And there's one, two, three, four, five areas. I'm pointing on my screen, screen right now to imagine the diagram. And how it works is that you warp to these different locations. On the outside, you have Alpha and Beta. Those are the lanes. Um, you capture um, those, those like three circles down the lane, and those are how you gain resources. And when you gain resources, you're able to upgrade, and you're able to upgrade three different things. Defense, utility, and weapons, or attack. So if your ship is utility, you want to upgrade utility. If you want to... If your ship's heavy attack, you want to upgrade attack. If you're a tank, you want to upgrade uh, defense, um, so on and so forth. And so you'll push those lanes, and the cap nearest to the enemy base on those lanes, uh, if you cap those, cap one of them, you have a direct route to their base. And once that's capped, you're able to jump to their base, start damaging their defenses there, and potentially win the game. And then there's a center sector called Gamma. 
And I don't know how often or the velocity, frequency, uh, but it'll open up every five, 10, I don't know. Uh, and if you cap that area, you get a boost, like a big boost, good cooldown, good top speed, you know, better uh, weapon cooling, all that kind of stuff. It really helps you push back the enemy a little bit. So it's very important. Uh, so there's Gamma 1, there's Gamma 2, and there's Gamma 3. Gamma 3 is probably the most important because you can just cap right through. It's really hard to explain unless you play it. So uh, that's the gist. Hopefully that makes sense. I really suggest you guys give this game a shot. Give it give it a go through the tutorial and at least two games. And if you're not if you don't feel any kind of addiction, then get out of here. But today we're going to be using my protector ship. Oh yeah, I want to clarify something right now. Um, so we have a, we we have a lot of different ships to try out. You know, a lot of. There's no leveling really. What's what kind of mind boggles me. All you have are credits. And if you have a good game, you can earn about 23,000 credits in the game. And you can buy new ships with that credit. Every ship in this game is on the same level, if that makes sense. It's not like there's tier 1 ships. And then it goes tier 10 ships, tier 20 ships. Tier, your, your first ship that you get, the Pioneer can compete with any ship in the game. That makes sense. So like, it's just a different ship that might fit your style of play. So they all are on the same level, but you get a ship that you work well with and you understand the pros and cons, and you use that in your ship to inflict damage to the enemy team. So it's not like, Oh my god, look at this one. This is a mouse, and this is a, you know, Panzer II. It's not like that at all. They're all fighting on the same levels. Anyway, so today we're going to be using my Protector, one of my favorite ships, because what I like to do in MOBAs the most is uh, support. I love supporting players. I, I love, you know, bringing them back from the grips of death uh, to be able to live a little bit longer and maybe kill the person that was you know, so confident to kill themselves. So this is the protector. What it does really nicely, I'll bring up my loadout, is that it has a repair beam. This repair beam's range 20,000 meters, and um, maybe at, I, think, I think at like upgrade three, it can upgrade up to like 6,000 damage, and it reloads every 18 seconds, which is really phenomenal. I have a defense bubble that I actually might trade out for a shield, just because I'm not really that good at using the defensive bubble yet. So I'm going to trade it out for the shield. This just helps that if I'm trying to get away or if people are shooting at me, once their rounds enter my defensive shield, uh, they'll be reduced. And then you have this arm. This one's nuts. So let's say, um, oh my god, there's so much to explain in this game. This is why MOBAs are kind of uh, confusing and, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely not the most popular games in the world. Uh, but what happens is that when you warp... You're very, very vulnerable. So let's say I want to warp to a different sector, right? So let's say you're you're starting your warp, right? And then someone jumps right into your sector and they're right by you. If they get their if they get uh, their guns on you fast enough, they're able to kill you almost in one shot, maybe two. What disarm does is that if I hit this little number here, I can stop them from working their guns working for six seconds, which will allow me to warp out of the sector safely awesome and it's clutch also it helps that um helping my teammates too out siphon drones these drones attack enemies with low level attacks that drain energy from the target and transmit it back to the parent ship this energy can be then used to accelerate repairs so pretty much what these guys do is i can send them out they can go damage ships and they can send me back repairs i believe that's how it works and um they're quite hard to kill so um they do they do annoy the enemy for quite some time so that's my protector. We're going to be playing that out today. Um, hey, if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully it's not too confusing. Hopefully through the gameplay, you'll be able to see what the hell's up. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Holy shit. Okay, guys. Welcome to the game. We kind of got thrown into this right now. Let me just help this guy out. Got to keep this guy alive. 
He's going after me now, it looks like. Oh shit, I just crashed. Healing this guy back up. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. There we go. We got one more guy over here. This is a pioneer, pretty dangerous guy. We'll fire long range at him. Get in cover, get in cover. Ooh, oh he just got away. Hang on, let me heal him up. Okay, let's upgrade. All right, so welcome to the game. Sorry to throw you guys in here. In the bottom right, you can kind of see how it works. We have alpha and we have beta. Beta and alpha are the lanes that we push if we cap the top point. Oh, hang on. Sorry, Baba. If we if we cap the top points at beta 2 and alpha 2, we're able to move on to the enemy base. It's really early game, though. So how it works is that we have these minefields or these mining depots. And as we cap those, we'll be able to upgrade our ships faster, which is very crucial early game. Dying early game is really not a big deal because you respawn so fast. However, later in the game, you'll start to respawn, you know, your response will take minutes to do. We're paying this guy at full health before he gets back into battle. We're going to launch some smart, um, smart things at him. As you can see, this Reaper has some... Don't, don't go after the fighters. Go after the guy. I'm gonna disarm this guy too because he is pushing hard. <clears throat> As you can see how he stopped shooting right there, fully disarmed for six seconds. Gives this guy some breathing time. Gives me some give, gives me some time to heal him up. Siphon drones out. God, these guys are kicking ass right now. They're using some good teamwork. Missiles inbound. So how you, how you defend against missiles is that you have point defense, which is a really, really important mechanic. Okay, I'm getting focused by this pioneer. We're going to dive down deep. We're going to dive back up. Healing up nicely, though, right now. Trying to buy some time. This guy is warping out of here. Crazy son of a bitch. Okay, you're just going to leave me here? Why are you gonna leave me here? We we had everything. Now, I wonder if I can 1v1 this guy. Definitely not. Definitely not. We're gonna disarm him though. Hang on, four. We put a disarm on him so he doesn't shoot me for a little bit. It really pisses. Oh, Leviathan's in here. Nice. Leviathans have a huge. Wait, no, that wasn't a Leviathan, huh? I wonder what that big laser beam was. Healing this guy up a little bit. I don't know why he left though. I mean, we, we had a good edge. We got one guy way down here. He's dead though, as you can see. Okay, now we're going to start our first official push. And this is kind of how it works sometimes, that you have to kind of sacrifice a push on one side to push on the other side. And be kind of like damage control, if you will. Let's go try to help out this infiltrator. He is cloaked. He's trying to solo cap right now, which is pretty darn dangerous because once he gets into a cap, he'll be re revealed. His cloak will uh, take off. Another Reaper in sight. Serious Sam. So in a minute time, Gamma will be uploaded. And what that means... What that means is that we'll have to cap that area to get a... Oh my god, this guy really got fucked up right there. Healing this buddy up. This is why I just love playing support too. Let me just type gamma for everybody. And I'm sorry if this sounds, if this is kind of confusing, but if you try it yourself and you go through the tutorial yourself, you'll start to understand what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and warp to gamma. Amma, amma, amma. There we go, we already got a buddy there. Point defense on. Point defense might be one of the most important things to have. Defensive shields. I need some help here, boys. Yeah, they're gonna capture Gamma. I don't have any. Okay, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm getting focused by everybody right now, unfortunately. I'm gonna head back in there. We gotta get into Gamma ASAP. One guy's down. Come on, get in there, little ship. Get in there, little ship. 
Okay, good. We're holding Gamma. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have let that guy die right there. I was too focused on getting in. This guy's cloaked. I really shouldn't repair him right now. Now, as you can see, our team on the left side in Beta is pushing... Um, hang on a second. They're pushing Beta right now. So these guys are occupied in here. But we're going to push their base early game, which is a good trade-off in my opinion. This is uh, unfortunate. Come on, don't die! Oh! Almost got fucked up right there. Okay, so we're in the enemy base. Now, this early game, we're not going to do that much damage to the base. However, it's, it's pretty much psychological. You know? Like, hey, we're at your base, bros. You, you, you better not be so aggressive. Now, these are doing some considerable amount of damage. I don't think I want to warp there. No, it's not a good idea. So, as you can see, as we capture more, more of these mining depots, we'll start to earn more credits. And when we earn more credits, we're going to be able to upgrade faster, which is, I think, more important. Well, it's important all over the place, but it really takes effect uh, through upgrade uh, 2 and 3. Because if an enemy, enemy player doesn't upgrade their ship, they will die so fast, so fast. So the reason why I didn't go up to the enemy base right now is because we're not going to do anything. There's only two of us and three of them, so it's not going to... It's not really going to end well for anyone, well, except the enemy team. So I just decided to go capture a mining field to give us 5% enemy ship just um, warped in, as you could hear that noise. We got a, yeah, we got two guys over here. Three guys over here. And I can't solo. Look at them, they're all, they're all pushing this way. But at the same time, we have people at Alpha. So they're working together, that's all that matters. I'm just wondering where our other player is. Okay, one's dead, and one is in Gamma. I think he's trying to wait for his cooldown. Yep, okay, there goes his warp. We, uh, we have a Leviathan. Now, he's pretty damn strong, but he's more of a support ship that fires a huge-ass laser beam from, some, uh, from a decent range. Yeah, I don't know if he should go out there like this. Really don't think so. Healing this guy. Yeah, he's just gonna throw himself away, it looks like. I'll disarm. No, he, he, he ain't gonna live for any bit longer than that. This is not good at all. We need more players over here. We got four players up. All, all I see is one, though. This might, be, this, this might be tough here. I'm gonna uh, get this guy out. I'm gonna warp out though. He's disarmed. Get out, get out. Okay. So that's really clutch for getting out of a bad situation. Um, I didn't want to feed the enemy team because we have um, more points. So if I die, I would have given 300 more credits to level up, which isn't a good thing. All right, boys, let's defend this our base. So now they are gonna push our base. They have Gamma, so they're a little bit stronger than us, and that's why they're able to do so much damage to our ships. Okay, here they are. Gonna send out some Siphon Drones. Let's do some bit, bit of damage. Out of range of that Pioneer's Void Cannons. Point Defense. See, Point Defense is one of the most important things to use in this game, man. As you can see, those missiles are just, they're done. Jesus Christ, he's got to do a lot of damage. Come on, buddy, stay alive. God damn, the enemy team is strong. And as you can see, our, our, our players aren't coming back to help at all. Okay, got one down. It's not a good thing when a... Alright, good. Two down. It's, it's, it's not a good thing when the support ship has to defend the base, mainly. But all is well. All is good. Good pushback. Okay, this guy's leaving. 
Let's go. I'm going to push left side. Good job, guys. That was... Th th this is good. Because sometimes you just have players who try to, like, end the game as fast as possible. Which you should end the game when you have the opportunity. You know? But at the same time, if you, if you end it too early, you, 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 what's up, Mighty Jingles? Uh, you don't really get anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get enough credits, you don't get enough this, you don't get enough experience. Kind of like that. So, they have lost their gamma now, which is really good. So they're on the same level, and we are much stronger than them. As you can see, we're level 7, almost 8, and they're level 6. But we need to keep capping these points to keep our mineral flow up. Okay, now let's try to keep a guy alive this time. There goes the Leviathan shooting mean. Healing this buddy up. Good, he's dead. Gonna send siphon drones at this guy. Gonna use my, my repair beam on him. At far range. Do a little bit of damage, not the most. But the important thing right now is just capping these points. See, I like to play. Hang on, we gotta get into this with this guy. 60 seconds gamma. Damn, he took a massive hit right there. I don't think, I don't think he's gonna survive. Oh my god, he, he fucking survived. Holy shit. That is quite impressive. Okay, let's try to go uh, cap this point. Now the thing is, should we go for Gamma or should we go for the uh, main point? I don't know what these guys are going to do. They're going base. I'll go base with them. We got a three push here. We got three dead. We could win this right now. Push, 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 push. The enemy team made a big mistake trying to uh, uh, push us right there. Gamma's on, but who gives a shit right now? I don't need to shoot fighters. Disarming this guy. He's got no... I don't think he has any armor in the front anymore. Nope, his side armor is going away. There goes him. We got one guy coming behind us. That's what she said. Healing this Leviathan up. GG! But guys, oh, we, we just unlocked a pack. Every every so often, how many games you play, you unlock a pack. We got a green cargo. What does this mean here? Probably some credits. One boost. So boosts allow you to, um, at the end of the game, boost your credits up a little bit more. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, let me know because I play this game nonstop in my free time. Guys, have a good Monday and until next time, peace out.